Hi, today I'm going to start to talk about a couple of uh, free embroidery software that I tried and um, tell you about them. Uh, I just tried them for a very short uh, period of time, not very extensive time and just give you um, uh, what I think about them. By all means, these are not all the available software. If you want the full list of, uh, yeah, almost full list of uh, embroidery software, you can go to this Wikipedia page and look at them. Um, I try to, uh, I will put the link to all the software I find in the description. If you know any of uh, any other that I didn't find, please uh, mention them in, in the comments and I will uh, update the list. Uh, so the very first one I want to say that probably the one I like it the best uh, uh, is the one from the uh, Floriani. So uh, Floriani has a uh, 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 Floriani has some couple of, couple of uh, software. So one of them, the, it has a free one that is called the Creative Express, uh, um, and it actually can do. Uh, many things for the free software so if you open it and bring the design in so it gives you the sequence um, uh, here it has all the colors and so you can go there in that you can do all the regular uh, um, uh, transformation so you can change the size you can rotate it uh, uh, you can look at it in the 3d we use and uh, and also one of the good things is that you can go here and just look at it how will, how it will be stitched out in your machine so you can look at it what what would happen if you put it in the machine it has different type of hoops uh, and many other things uh, that it has so that's mm, in, in the ones that I find uh, it was one of the best ones so also you can change any of those colors here you can select the color change the color any of those regular things you can do uh, the next one uh, I find it was the embroidery tool shed by uh, dime the things that they're very similar with the previous one with the uh, Floriani so if you look at this this is the embroidery tool shed and uh, and this is the Creative Express. They seem similar. They might be have the same developer. Uh, on the Creative Express has more free option available than this one. But this one is also a great tool. Again, you can do many of the things here. You can look at the, the objects here. You can look at it in 3D. Um, you can also stitch it out to see how it will stitch out. Um, um, uh, all those things uh, and you can select it and do any of those uh, um, changes that you want but I think the creative experience has more option uh, uh, compared to this one uh, the next one in the list is this uh, my editor by drawing so the drawing itself make uh, another uh, drawing pro item drawing express or some other embroidery stuff but it has a my editor as a free one and um, um, actually among the ones that I tried I think this one has the most uh, available feature so we can go there change any of the color for example that you want and choose any color thread color we can do it in all, most of the others as well um, it has the sequence here so you can see what's happening uh, yeah. here uh, one, one thing that it has that uh, I think no other I haven't seen no other uh, free embroidery software has is that you can go ahead and start to edit the stitches itself so you can go and uh, get this stitch and uh, work with this stitch uh, it also do the uh, uh, redrawing uh, for you, the, the only thing is that it doesn't have the uh, stitch bar so you can move it back and forth to see what's happening. So that, probably that's the only 
uh, drawback that it has. Um, but it uh, it has many features that you can uh, use. Um, the the next uh, one is the uh, embryons express. So it's from the embryons. Embryons is one of the probably the most popular one. Uh, in the market, so if you go there, go on the free, and then you can get the express. It's free. Um, it can do most of the uh, uh, transformation, like rotation or change the size or all those things. Also, you can again go to the sequence, any of the one you want to get, you change the color. Um, convert to any color that you want, any thread color that you want. Um, actually. This one probably is one of the easiest one to work with, uh, I would say. Uh, it's, it's very intuitive. Uh, I think the only drawback for this one is that it doesn't have the stitch simulation, so you cannot see how it's going to be run on your machine. Otherwise, uh, if, you, if you don't need that, that's a great tool uh, to work with. Uh, the next one again is the from the Melco is the design shop size. Uh, the design shop itself is uh, um, you have to pay for the, that if if you go to um, uh, their website. But uh, the sizer is the uh, free version of that. So if you go to their website, you will see. And then if you go just one free, you can get the sizer there. Again, we can see the design sizer also has those uh, standard tools, so you can again select any of them. You can um, um, resize it, reshape it, recolor it, um, uh, do all those uh, things, and also you can just um, redraw it, uh, stitch simulator to see how it's going to be run in, in, on your machine. So, this is also um, good free tool as uh, well. The, the next one is the Bernina Artlink and it's, uh, it's free uh, so you can get it free. Uh, compared to the other one this Bernina uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I think when you work with that it's, it looks sim it should be similar to the hatch um, software somehow but it has a very limited feature so um, so for example you, at least I couldn't find any way to grab each part of that uh, design or get the sequence on all those things if I want to change the color I can change the uh, entire design color but not every piece of that um, but besides that you can um, do any other thing so if you can rotate it and resize it um, uh, or you can see how it's going to be uh, stitched out uh, like here see how, how it would happen uh, it, it does all that I wish it had the uh, sequence so you can grab each part of your design as well um, the next one is the Premiere Plus 2 so if you go to the download and download it and you don't register so you can run it as free the problem with that it has a very limited um, capability so <clears throat> uh, again only things that you can do is um, um, do some resizing um, um, or rotating and all the, uh, those things or uh, that's almost only thing you can do. Um, I don't think you can change the color or maybe you can, I don't know. So yeah, probably you can change the color. So let's try. So yeah, you can change the color. At least here, uh, you can change the color. So it's like the art link. Uh, it doesn't have much uh, uh, to offer. Uh, art link has a T simulation. This one, I don't think it has a stitch simulation. Again, if you have one very limited option, this is uh, is another uh, option. Uh, the, the one that I talked up to here, they're all um, uh, 
editing so it means that you have the embroidery design and you want to do some editing change the color change the size of those kind of things if you want to create the design by yourself the, the only free option that you have is the ink stitch and the ink stitch is the uh, extension for the uh, ink escape software so you have to have the install the ink escape and then um, when you install it you have the and then install the ink stitch and you have uh, this extension it's, it lets you do to draw anything and then you can convert for example you can go it and draw anything that you want you can add it any color that for example you want and then you can go to ink stitch and uh, assign the, the stitching parameter uh, that uh, you would like to add to that uh, so if it comes out it's very a little bit slow so when it comes you can uh, uh, add the parameter to that and after that also it uh, lets you to do the uh, couple of for example the, the simulation of high school stitch so you can see it it will give you the options so say okay I want to auto fill that or for example you can say I want to add it for uh, angle of 45 degrees so or any other uh, option here you want to change you can go ahead and change those options as well and then it will go ahead and it will uh, apply it uh, for you uh, and then you can for example apply that and if you want i don't know if it's going to run or not i will try that so it also can show you how actually it's going to be uh, run in, in in the machine uh, it make it a little bit time to run it uh, otherwise so the the problem with uh, in uh, station in escape is that it has a relatively sharp layering here uh, because uh, it's a uh, vector design software so you have to learn how to work with the vector design software to design whatever you want and then uh, uh, after that you have to learn how to work with the ink so also as I said it can show you how it's do so you can look at that the realistic view and all those um, things um, also if you only need for example to just a browser to browse your uh, 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 embroidery design I think one of the good option is the two stitch so you can download that and then you can just uh, browse uh, uh, any uh, design you have if, if you have many design and you want to just you forgot where you put uh, what and it just helps you to go through them and find so these are the list I have as I said these are not all the available one these are the one I try them so please let me know what you think and if there is any other software that you think worth mentioning uh, just mention it in the uh, comment uh, as I said I will put the links to these uh, software uh, in the description